Hi, got a special guest today, Monique Kerner with the Cottonwood Extension District. She has some great information for you about what they have to offer. We'll be back in just a moment. Well, I'm talking with uh, Monique Kerner, and she works for the uh, Cottonwood District uh, Extension Service, which actually services Ellis County and Barton County, and is actually sponsored by, what, Kansas State University? Yep. Okay, and I think it's supported by both Barton and Ellis counties as well. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So K-State is a land-grant university, so they are to provide extension services to all of Kansas. Um, some of it's by county, some of it's by district. In Ellis County, we're a district, so that's Ellis County and Barton County makes up the Cottonwood mm -hmm. District. Mm -hmm. So your title is actually Family and Community Development Wellness yes. Director? Yes. Okay. Um, well, extension okay. agent, <laughs> and I think is like the the official the official title. name. Uh, okay. But yeah. So I just I go out into the community and try to figure out the needs of the uh, each community. Um, you know, every community is unique, so sometimes programming can look different in different mm -hmm. communities. So my job is to go out to the community and figure out the needs of the community and then um, provide that programming around um, physical health, mental health, and financial health. Mm -hmm. And I think prior we were talking about you do things with nutrition and you go into yes. schools to do that? Yes, so I can go to lots of different organizations. I do enjoy going into the schools because I have a background with early education and so I can do all sorts of programming in the schools. We can talk about nutrition, we can talk about healthy activities um, to stay um, physically active, we can talk about mental health or um, why staying off technology is is good for mental health um, and then we can also do start working with kids around budgeting and financial wellness as well well I noticed on Facebook that you put a lot of pictures on on how to decorate plates with different kinds of foods yeah is, yeah so is I that just part of your nutrition yeah, I just, part mm -hmm, yep I just recently uh, did a um, a presentation for a club on charcuterie boards. So mm -hmm. I found a lot, you know, once you start talking about stuff, it starts popping up on Facebook. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I thought those have been really cute. And then for our last board meeting, I put together um, a relish tray that looked like an owl and, mm -hmm. and a skeleton because it was around Halloween. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's just kind of being fun and, you know, mm -hmm. making good good choices. Um, when I go into the schools, I like to talk to the kids about their food choices. They have lots of choices to make every day. And so we talk about processed foods versus whole foods. And, um, you know, just sometimes we don't have, um, don't always get to pick and choose what we mm -hmm. do, but when we do have a choice, how to make healthy choices. Mm -hmm. What is your uh, educational background? So I, both of my degrees are from Fort Hayes. Um, my bachelor's degree is in public administration, and then I have a master's degree in public health administration. Along with that public health, I think you're very involved with breastfeeding. Yes, yes. So um, i am been a La Leche League leader for over 20 years, and then um, I'm also an international board certified lactation consultant. I sat for that exam and in 2011, so I still continue some of those services um, as I can with my new job. Um, so, you know, just providing that support to new moms who are breastfeeding and just making that transition into motherhood and supporting them. Mm -hmm. so. Is there anything you'd like to end <clears throat> with? Um, I don't think so. Just, you know, if you have any programming needs or would like me to come and talk about you know one of those subjects give me a call we do have um, lots of uh, signature programs through k-state so those are programs that any extension agent can offer but if you have a special need you know like i talked about earlier mm -hmm. the charcuterie board um, you know i can i can put something together as well so okay and how would they get a hold of you do you have a phone number that they would call yep they can call the office or email me my email address is um, my first name monique m-o-n-i-q-u-e k which is my um, last name initial at ksu.edu or the phone number is 
9432. Okay. Three zero. All right. Well, thank you so much for visiting with yes. us today. And uh, that's information from Monique Kerner, who works with the Cottonwood Extension District. And uh, she is the uh, family and community development wellness person. And if you need anything that she can provide, just give her a call. Well, I want to thank Monique Kerner for being with us today and talking about the Extension Service, the Cottonwood District's Extension Service, and what they have to offer. And if you like this information, we'd appreciate it if you just click the old thumbs up button in the lower left hand corner. And of course, we always invite you to subscribe to our channel. So thank you for watching. This is Errol Wurtz with Landmark Realty in Hayes, Kansas.